Hello, Hedic folks! Welcome to the, uh, I think this is the Siege of Carrick Hearn. Or, you know, it, it doesn't even really matter. There's nothing important about this place other than that it's just another capital in the north that we need to take. Alright, so, there's like 40 whole unit cards in here. There's a full stack plus the garrison, which I think was 18 cards. This is not going to be easy. Or it's at least not going to be a pushover. Or something, something like that. Okay, so we've got one gate, we've got two gates. I think we're gonna just crash all the gates and climb the walls and just try and uh, find as many points as we can to breach and get in like that. I think that's gonna be the plan here. The cavalry is gonna be not the easiest thing. Oh, Hibiscus is leading this one and he's a little bit beat up. I don't know what from. Apparently the rest of the army is just fine, so I have no idea what, what Hibiscus and uh, poor Tail are just doing, but... Ikatika! The main problem is that there is a massive amount of... Uh, what do you call them? The Ghosts? Karen Race? And we only have one magic caster. We'll have to just deploy him wherever uh, wherever it seems the best, so... Okay, we're gonna do something like that, I think. Then, of course, our cute little skinks are going to lead the charge up on the wall there, and I think the source are just gonna climb the walls and fight, you know, skeletons and grave guard and, and all that stuff while the temple guard handle uh, whatever's on the bottom floor. I think that's I think that's what we're gonna do. Gosh, are we ready? I think we're ready. Why don't we just, you know, highlight everything here and get started just like that? Everyone's moving. Let's get the big stuff on these gates, like that. Big stuff, gate. Okay, this is, looks like very lightly defended. There are Cairn race over here. Where are the rest? There's a lot of them over here. So we are gonna want our, our priest to go in this way. Sadly, we're using beast magic on this, so the only way to hurt these ghosts is going to be re spamming Flock of Doom for the most part. Alright, why don't we get some Saurus over there. I think we could get some Saurus up here, and right on right on here, we'll double, we'll double down right there, and then, you know, hope for the best for them. It's going to be a little bit rough. This siege is going to be extremely rough, actually, now that I'm looking at some of these um, numbers that we're losing on the approach. We're going to need every temple guard we can get. Let's get them a little bit closer to the walls. How are we doing here? Slowly but surely, but the ladders are going up. No buggy shenanigans this time by the looks of it. Our blow darts are not doing much, sadly. But they are drawing fire, so that works. Okay, we've got some ladders going up here. Some are... are they? Okay, those ladders are going up. Great. All the source have got it figured out. These gates are down. Everyone in. Everyone in. Is there anyone else blocking the gate? Skeleton spearmen. They're not going to stand a chance. Do we have a magic weapon over here? We do. Tails got a magic weapon. That is excellent news. Croxagor is coming through the gates. Right into those skeleton spearmen. I don't even think they're going to stand a chance, anti lord or not. Graveguard are coming down. Yep, this is going to be a nasty fight down here. We know that. It's just going to be nasty. Now that everyone's in, why don't we use our stuff just like that. Over here, are these gates down? It looks like they are. Let's get in. Everyone in. Everyone in. Great. That's exactly what we want. The Saurus are climbing the walls and they're they're in pretty bad shape. Not good for them. Let's get our cavalry over here close to the walls. Out of the range of those towers. They are doing some damage. In fact, let's just pull out these cold ones. They've had enough. If they go into the city, I'm just going to lose the unit card. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff going on over here. Look at all this. Let's... Can we... Yes, that's what we want to do. I want to save all our magic for as many castings of Flock of Doom as we can get. 
You know what? Let's let's get one wild form here for now. It's going to make a big difference. All right, over here, how are we doing? We're doing okay. How come, where's the other temple guard? Their unit icon is just over there, but they're, they're, they're in this. Looks like they're gonna cut right through here. Let's make sure we're getting on those Karen race and use our ability. Now over here, let's go ahead and, and use our stuff. Are we ready with another? Yes, we are. Like that. Look how many ghosts there are, good lord. This is nasty. This is nasty. Can we get our cavalry in? I think we might be able to. As long as they're not out there, I'll be happy. These Karen Rays are all over our poor Saurus on the wall there. That's really bad. What are our skinks doing? These Saurus are actually... Let's see, do we really need them down there to fight these Grave Guard? Yeah, let's, let's get one unit of Saurus down there. We could really use that extra help. Oh no, 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 no. Go over there and then on them. There we go. They'll, they'll do that instead, maybe. Who knows? All right, how are we doing? Let's... Cooldowns, go. Let's go with another one of these. I'm trying to get all that stuff on the wall. Lots of extra damage. Let's go ahead and use our power now. Holy cow. This is madness. This is madness. But it looks like we're actually hanging in there pretty well. The source over here have killed those Karen race. Let's move in on those Grave Guard now. We're moving right along over here. Let's get those Grave Guard. This Mortis engine is gearing up to, I don't know, come in at the last minute, I guess. Okay, we've got a couple of seconds left on our Flock of Doom again. Let's use it. Like this. There we go. More Flock of Doom. <laughs> Insanity. Insanity. Yeah, these Karen race are an issue. Why don't we go ahead and withdraw those skinks? We don't need them anymore. In fact, these skinks look like they're out of ammo. Let's, uh, let's get these skinks up the wall there. All right, these swords are engaged. These, all right, we've got those grave guard locked down. Let's just, let's just pile on them and kill them all and then we can start moving for the center. How are we doing? We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Let's use our stuff again. Another one of the uh, flock of dooms, I think. The go the Karen race are almost totally done up there. The cavalry can finish mopping all that up. One of our units used all its ammo. Who? Oh, the priest? Yeah, all right. We've almost got all this stuff uh, totally killed. Almost. But it's not going without a fight. We know that. Not without a fight at all. How are we doing over here? All done. Oh, more Karen race. Let's get on them. Looks like the reinforcements are coming in now. Yeah, the skinks can, you know, get the occasional dart off there. The Saurus need to get in there. Are they still climbing? Oh, those are the skinks. Okay. All of our Saurus, they're okay. The Saurus are okay. Temple Guard. Yep, everything is about to collapse over here by the look of it. Let's get some more magic if we can. It looks like we don't need to be using any more of our Flock of Doom, so let's just, let's just save up our magic for the final push. Lots of darts into those Grave Guard, looking good. Over here, killing all the Karen race. We're just gonna have to use our magic weapon until they all die, but for the most part. The Mortis Engine, where is it? I don't know, it's, it's screwing around. That's a lot of Vargeists. That is a lot of Vargeists. These Source have finished over there. What is this? Just Crypt Ghouls? Come on, kill them, guys. Let's remind everyone what they need to do. 
Who is that? Just some vampire? I don't think she's gonna last very long. Let's, uh, we're gonna save our cooldowns, I think. Have we killed them over here? Yes, we did. Let's get organized in here. Or more like right here. Yeah, that looks great. We're gonna move in, get organized. The Mortis Engine is gonna have to be taken down by our Temple Guard. It shouldn't be a problem. Over here, a lot of critical binding going on. This vampire is moving in, but the, for the most part, let's get our cavalry organized here and get on these Black Knights with them. They can handle that. More Black Knights over here. Let's see, where's our Croxigors? Croxigors, kill that vampire. Temple Guard, kill that vampire. That's That should do it for now. And we could kill these uh, Black Knights. All right, looks like everything is solved up here. Let's get our source off the walls. Get nice and organized. Yep, just like that. Beautiful. Temple Guard are moving in. Okay. Yeah, lots of lots of exciting stuff going on over here. We got to get the Temple Guard over though. They're very tired, I would bet. Yeah, they're super tired, so they're kind of just crawling along. What badass units. What badasses. They're going to continue at it. Looks like, oh, looks like all these swords are pissed off again. Let's get them in on those, uh, crypt, cryptors. No. Uh, let's just, let's just get behind these and, and do some damage over here. Okay. What we need here is a wild form for sure. That should help the temple guard and stuff kill all this. Let's get in the rear here with a uh, hibiscus. Hibiscus charging in, making an entrance. Great, use that stuff. Let's grab some more magic while we're at it, and uh, flock of doom would not be would not be the best right there. Yeah, all these swords are coming in the rear. That's going to be awesome. How are we doing over here? The temple guard have reached the mortis. Oh, I forgot how loud those things are. I kind of have to watch it a while away because it pierces my ears just to be near it. Come on. Come on, kill it, guys. Oh, that's it. Battle's over. I think we just need to get closer to those units and then they'll explode. Everything over here is exploding. This vampire looks like she's going to be stubborn about it. Oh, yeah, there she goes. As soon as we engage over here, they're all dead. Let's just speed it up. This is over. Yep. Pop. And Gustav. Come on. There he goes. He's dead. What a way to start an episode, huh? A big old siege battle. That was a good fight, too. That was pretty good. Action pack. Let's get back to the map where I struggle to remember what happened. Great. Look at all that stuff we killed. Excellent. Lots of cash. And level 26, Hibiscus is moving along. I don't really, because like we can't afford another army and even though we have 10,000 income, I'm pretty sure money is going to be a thing of the past pretty soon. So I don't really feel like we need to sack anything. Dagger of Sotek. That's kind of cool. Okay, what are we looking at here? Wow, look at all this stuff. Well, let's, let's keep these two buildings around because they give us more hero cards. So that's fine. What we need is some walls and what we need is a shrine of the old ones. That's kind of like all we really need in a lot of these provinces. Why don't we upgrade this thing as well? The replenishment will be nice and so will the growth to get this, uh, su uh, this area back on its feet. All right, Hibiscus, level 26. I think we're just working on this stuff with you, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Let's keep it going. Money, money, money. Yeah, he only needs one turn here in Karakurn and then he can move on. Okay. Mina Zervana, okay, so I must have, yeah, clearly I saved it mid, mid turn. 
Why don't we upgrade this? Because, I mean, now that we have just so much income, we could just spend it to have even more income, I think. Sure, why not? Black Crag. Nothing there right now. New Moss is okay. The Black Tower of Arcan is definitely in need of some upgrades again. There we go. That should get things moving along again. Vulture Mountain is just going to be moving along. The Sheik and Al Haik. They're pretty much locked in here. I don't think we need the old one monument anymore. But then again, what else are we going to build? We'll just leave it there for now. Now, over here. We've moved. Looks like Krokgar took Walotl. We got untainted out of the... Yeah, okay, great. So we're going to we'll just build an old one monument on top of it. Yo, Beckvis is moving in. The Awakening is upgrading. I guess that's it with this turn. It looks like everything has already been done. Oh, what are we doing with... Oh, that's right. Okay. I think what we were doing is heavily considering following up to take Lucini. We are going to lose some unit cards doing it. But this is kind of a junior army, and we could just globally recruit some more. It wouldn't be the worst, but I would like to get a foothold in the south. Like, we could just sit in Lucini with Claw and just troll them from the south. That seems like a great idea. Let's, let's try it. It's going to be a bit of a rough battle, I think. See, Claw isn't riding a Carnosaur, but I, I believe Orin Muthal is, and the Croxagors can work on the gates as well. Yeah, let's 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 try it. Let's go all in. Their general doesn't have any points spent yet, so that is super good for us. Let's let's try it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's gamble for a little bit more there. See if we can squeeze... Oh, Ranald. Ranald. Okay. Let's take a look at what we got. We got one gate, two gates. And we are in very bad shape. This is going to be a bloody one. That much is certain. I think... Um, we don't have any artillery or anything. I think what I want to do is try and brute force our way through one gate. And the reason is because if I if I go for like a, a more frontal assault, we're just going to be eating more dark shards um, on the walls. But if we concentrate, there can only be so many dark shards on the walls to shoot at us. That's, that's kind of my thought on that. Like more, if we, we'll just have more surface area for dark shard fire if we go at the walls straight on with such massively limited numbers. Let's have the Saurus in front and the Temple Guard in back. I don't want the Temple Guard to take fire if they, if they do not have to. We'll have our cavalry in the forest for now. We'll call them in if we need it. Come on. I'm, I'm waiting for a little eyeball to hide them. There we go. There we go. They're all hidden. That's great. We'll get some skinks up there. And Croxagors are going to be right in the front where we're going to charge the walls. That's everyone. Let's get started. This is going to be a big fight. Both Croxagors and our Carnosaur get on that wall. Heroes get right up on top. Let's get our Temple Guard nice and squeezed in there. 
Saurus, squeeze him in. I don't want these towers to be hitting us. Let's just get our priest way out of the way here. They're shooting him. Yeah, we don't want that at all. Our priest is going to be important on this. We'll pull him back a bit. Let's go, like, right here. All right, we're working on that gatehouse. Let's get our skinks a little bit more over here to draw fire. All right. Let's take a look at what we got here. Lots of dark shards. Dark riders. Corsairs, dark shards, corsairs. All right. It won't be the worst thing as soon as we get through the gate. We just have to get through the gate. You know what? Why don't we send up some source right on the walls like that? Let's send some more source up there. I think they'll actually prevail against the Corsairs and stuff. Is the gate down? The gate is down. Get in. Show those witch elves what's up. The temple guard are struggling with it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We're having gate troubles. That's what we're having. Oh, boy. Here we go. Come on. Work that gate. Okay, good. They're hitting it. That's good. Come on, gate. Go down. 98. 99. There it is. Now it's down. Go, killer. Oh, these poor witch elves. They're not really made to hold a gate. <laughs> Look at those Croxicars just... <laughs> yeah, they're running for it. That much is certain these Croxicars are going to obliterate them. Oh, boy. That looks painful. Looks like they can use those powers on the walls. Can't say I'm very excited about that. Okay, everyone's climbing up. Looking, uh, looking pretty good up there. All right, everyone in. Where's our priest? Let's get the priest over here now. And I think uh, a curse of the midnight wind ought to do pretty well over here for us. I want to just reduce the corsairs and witch elves' ability to hit us. Yep, everyone in. Everyone in. Looks like the Temple Guard are doing it right. That's great. Uh, what shall we do here? It looks like Claw's getting a little crazy. But he'll be okay. Who is that? This is their level 39 lord, okay. Yeah, these Croxagors are struggling. A lot of people are, what is that noise? Does anyone else hear that? What is that noise? How strange, I don't know what kind of noise that is. Let's get our skink on those dark shards. They're shooting down on us, we can't allow it. The temple guard and Croxagors are gonna have to take the rest of the city though. These Corsairs are wavering. Wow, they are fighting to the death. All right, our Skink is in the battle. What can we do? Oh, we can do a Comet of Cassandora. Right there, how about that? That's a pretty good clump. Why don't we see how much it does? It takes so long to cast this thing. That hurt a lot. Looks like they're doing the same kind of stuff against us, though. Let's get the Saurus in there. Let's get in the middle here. All right, where's our priest? Can we get over here? What are we looking at? Is this a bunch? It's a bunch of cavalry, dark shards. That's that's not scary at all. We're just gonna let that one play out. These witch elves are just hanging out over there. Yeah, we're going to lose some unit cards, just like I thought. 
Just like I thought. Why don't we heal ourselves? This is, this is bitter. This is just bitter fighting. Very bitter fighting. Looks like we have someone fleeing. Who is that? Saurus. Yeah, these Saurus are done. That's too bad. That's too bad. These Saurus are definitely killing both of those Dark Shards though, so that's, that's over with for them. Let's follow it up. This is going to be the where the main, most of the action's going on. We'll keep the priest with them. Everyone's just going to have to stick together because this is going to be a brutal slug fight at the end, I think. If they don't break soon anyway. But it looks like we could be breaking them soon. Yeah, the battle is lost. Get out of here. We have to make our way to the center. Dark Shards, Black Arcs, Dark Riders, okay. Nothing super scary, no Black Guard or anything. These Witch Elves are moving in for the kill. Let's get our Skinks over here and we'll get ready to move them into the city. These Dark Shards have been obliterated. Let's go ahead and get off the wall here with our Saurus. And the Saurus are probably gonna have to fight those Witch Elves, which yeah, might not be the best situation for them. We're killing our way to the center. Another boat attack. Another boat attack. Why don't we heal ourselves? Boy, that boat has so many attacks. Let's get in and help against those witch elves. Skinks, let's get up here. No, let's, let's get in here and do it right, and then we'll climb up. All right, so over here. Come on, guys, get get to the center. Minus the priest, I don't want you to just jump in there and get wrecked. Wow, it looks like they pretty much killed all their own witch elves for us. That's nice. Oh, they poisoned our chameleon skinks, so the chameleon skinks are gonna fight. Okay. This is bitter, but I think we're going to win. I think we're going to win this one. We're, we're going to win this. Yeah, this is this is looking good. Why don't we do a win spell right here? Boom. Oh, yes. That might that might have won the battle for us. Maybe a little bit of shock damage doesn't appear to be the case. Looks like they're just running from us. They're just running from us. We're chasing them out of their own square. I, is that it? That, that's gotta be it. Yeah, that's it. The battle is won. We didn't lose any Temple Guard, but uh, we lost a Croxagor and we lost some Saurus, I think. So let's, let's find out. But all in all, I'm happy. We won. Wow, the Croxagors survive when there's one left. All right, but we did lose two Saurus. That's a bummer. Okay, let's make ourselves comfortable. Let's tear that down. I want to get a garrison here right away. Oh boy. Oh, these are all boats so they can't they can't attack us that's fine Foolish request. okay great claw level 13 what are we doing with you we're just moving in on this stuff yes we are jungle dominion excellent temple guard are looking swell now let's get two source what are we missing Oh, we missed, uh, we need to get some spear riders. We're going to be here for a while. So yeah, let's just, let's just globally recruit one more spear rider and then we'll be, we'll be good. But yeah, we're not going to be able to move from here until Meaner's Zervana gets a little closer, but we do have a foothold to annoy them. So they're not going to be sailing across against us, I think. 
They'll probably be pissed that we took Lucini and try and get it back. Miragliano is a target of opportunity. They didn't build any walls or garrison there, so if they ever leave, we might be able to sneak in there and take it. Oh, look, there's Skaven Blight. Oh. Can you not build in it? That would be cool. <laughs> Nifty. Okay. Now we're done with this turn, I think. Yeah, same turn. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Yep, vampires move in to take Grenstart. That's fine. We knew it was coming. All right. Uh, Shadow Gores are dead. A hey, sequence of the global plan. Very nice. Establish trade with Wood Elves and we get some Blessed Horned Ones, huh? And then all that raiding that we always see. Wow, okay. I think we might as well just finish this. We make pretty thorough use of Croxagors in every army, so sure. What do I want to do with this scout? I was going to send him up here about a uh, tax box in the area. What is this? Occupied Skaven Blight level one. Maybe they, maybe they're just not building it up. I don't know. Let's try and trade with the Wood Elves. Oh, what a nice quest. Of Athelora, the mighty Deepwood welcomes. Yeah. Make trade with the Wood Elves. Oh, and you can't trade. That's nice. All right. Hibiscus, uh, Ikatika, uh, I think you've got all your stuff, don't you? Yes, you do. Let's take this stuff. These, these points are pretty nice. If we leave, we're going to take some damage, but I do want to get moving to Fyldorf soon. But maybe, maybe one more turn in Carrick Hearn here should, uh... Yeah, let's start, let's start working on that pylon. I'm guessing this army's moving into Fyldorf. If we leave... Yeah, we're getting 10 out of the military presence. And the corruption's going way down. When the shrine is done, I think we should be looking much better here with the public order and and untainted. So we'll, we'll stick we'll stick here another turn. Over here, the awakening is about to riot again. That's fine. Virak is waiting for it. You'll breakfast. Let's take Watek or Zawatek. Z so who take? I don't know. It's ours though. We know that. Passive ability cube of darkness. Greatly reduced power recharge. Eh. Level 15 Carnosaur. Great. Yeah, your breakfast really needed some help from the uh, the heavy hitters like that. So a Carnosaur is going to be a really good addition to his army. He was struggling for a while. We got some medical plants. Yeah, I'm sure. I guess we'll keep them. We'll just build some walls here. And yeah, we want to get the Temple of Tlencan sooner rather than later so we can get this whole province cleaned up. Yeah, that's going to be great. How's our conversion rate down here? Minus 3%, but oh man, the baseline is 40% chaos corruption still. It's all that osmosis and stuff. All right. Croc, where are you? Walotol, let's get a couple of the old ones going and a pylon. Monument of Zetal and the Mine of the Bearded Z bearded Skulls? Really now? Okay. We're going to have to leave those alone because I want to take Itza and kind of um, 
clear the Dark Elves out of here so that they're not going to be building armies behind us. Let's get Croc out here. And camp. Oh, look at this. I have that mod that changes the faction capitals, and I think they just did it for Itza a couple days ago. That looks really cool. This is going to give us a ton of cash, I bet. And the special lizard building, I can't wait to find out what it does. That's exciting. Okay. Let's keep scouting with Okenelec. They're not building anything over here. They might have written it off. So far, the conquest of Lustria is going pretty easily. The Dark Elves just have all their eggs like in another basket somewhere, I guess. That, that must be what's going on. They're coming. They're coming for us. We're going to wait in Karakur. Where's Meter Zirvana? Oh, there you are. That's right. You went and killed, um, what's his name? Big ol' dragon ogre guy. I think with Minor Sirvana, I'm gonna drop these three swords. We're gonna pick up three more. I think Minor Sirvana's earned his own batch of uh, Blessed Saurus. He, he's definitely earned it. What else do we have on retainer here? We got the one horned one. I kind of want to get like more before I, I drop them into an army. But it looks like we're kind of just okay here. You know, why don't we do something a little different with Meters of Honor? Let's drop this one unit of Croxagors. And let's get one more Blessed Stegadon. A lot of big dinos in Mina Zervana's army now. Yeah, that should be fun. That should be fun to, to screw around with. Okay. The dwarves, let's, let's just check in on them. Three settlements. They're not quite making a comeback, but they are surviving. Greetings, nope. 400. 400 faction relation, they still don't want a, a non-aggression pack. Like we didn't just... Well, dwarves never forget, do they? They never forget. I think we're done with this turn already, aren't we? Oh, Lucini. Before I do anything, yeah, let's get that. That's going to come in handy when you get attacked. You'll just have a bunch of extra units. That's great. Al Haik, you're just moving along. So is Vulture Mountain. Sorcerer's Island? Yeah, let's upgrade that. That's great. Star Tower is still moving. Okay. Let's go to the next turn. Okay. Firax working on keeping everyone in line. Talisman of Endurance for killing Helmen Gorst, huh? That's actually not a bad reward. And he went to the trouble of rebuilding that for us, so we don't have to. That's nice. Let's upgrade our Temple of the Old Ones again. And I think we're going to get a move on here. Kara Kern should be okay. It should be all right. Mina Zervana. Do we have a scout in the area? No, we don't. Wow, the Wood Elves are moving in on Miragliano. It's going to be a bit of a shame, isn't it? Let's just walk. Can we kill these guys on our way down here? Nope, doesn't look like it. And we walked into vampire territory. Great. Well, we're just going to have to eat that one up. Dope Karez. What do we get here? Salt or... Let's go with the stone markers. I love stone markers. Let's go with that. I love that. I love walls too. I love all these things. We can do some work over here. I think Chuck... Well, where's... Zawatek. Let's just do Zawatek. Doesn't really matter. Wild Odal, looking good. 
Let's get Krakar over into Itza. Looks like it's a freebie for us, that's for sure. Oh. Itza is now properly under lizard men control. Let's get rid of this. Whoop. I guess, wow, does this province come with free super garrison? It does, because it's special. And what's this? Holy cow, look at all those medicinal plants. Casualty replenishment rate, all forces. Wow, I'm not gonna turn that down. We already have the gold mine here. Why don't we get that moving along? I'm gonna, I'm gonna rebuild this. Well, you know what, we'll just leave it as it is. I don't think this really needs to be a military province because Z Zlanwapak is going to be our military province. So let's go ahead and tear down the weapon commune. We'll throw up some temples and stuff instead. Amazing, what a great city. It's already producing total bank for us. Let's get scouting over here. Nothing. And Mangrove Coast, oh, there's, there's a little, little town for us. Everything looks in order down there. Let's get Furak over here. Kill these chaos, boom, they're dead. Do we have to kill them again? Yes, we do. We tend to need to do that a lot. Firak, level 12. We've got the Spear Riders all at gold rank, so... Cold ones? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, Spear Riders are ex exceptionally good after taking that. Let's go with... Um, Power Drain, and over here... We already have the Carnosaur. Let's just take Blade Shield. We really need it because the Insanity debuff is completely insane. Wow. The Insanity debuff is insane. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Let's kill these. More experience, please. And after all that, let's go home. I want to check his stuff here. Can we squeeze anything more in? A Razor Banner. I don't think I want to give him a razor banner right now. Let's get that movement range. What else is there? Replenishment. Research. Although that's not going to be too handy much any longer. I guess we'll go with the poison attacks. That's that's all right. And a wailing banner. Sure. Oh, he needs some, he needs gear. I thought I outfit him, but I guess not. Let's go with the glittering scales. That's a great weapon. And a tormentor sword. Let's do that. Obsidian lodestone. Can we give him like a talisman of protection instead? Yeah, that's, that's going to be a good one. The curse charm. No, a potion of healing is already coming out at me is a good idea. Let's do the Potion of Toughness instead. Okay, so he's all set up. Looks like his his followers, oh yeah, he needs some gear over here. Let's go with, that's all around nice. We'll just go with lots of damage and I think some magic resist ought to do it. Why don't we give him a Potion of Healing and Casualty Replenishment, okay, great. Everything's looking fine over here now. Star Tower's still moving along. I want to just check our... Yep, okay, everything's moving along over here. Croc, you just took Itza. Your breakfast is ready to move. We can get to Tlaxon this turn. But I kind of want to just get this uh, province locked down, so let's move north. Yeah, after we take that, we're going to be able to get our commandments going.
Okay. Now then, let's take a quick look at the situation over here. We've got... Is that Durthu? No, just some regular tree guy. Look at all those tree men. Well, we're going to be able to start trading with the Wood Elves pretty soon, I think. If they take that port. Do not order me. And Marathi is sailing in. She is pissed off. I think the Lucini thing might have worked if she ends up landing here to move in. We are going to have a garrison in time, but it's kind of not the best garrison. But Claw's ready. He's got his... he's got everyone back. Mina Zervana, you're done. Hibiscus, you're done. I think we're ready for the next turn here, aren't we? Carrick Eight Peaks, is there anything that we can build here? I want the money. I, I, we need more of all that money stuff. I guess, I guess that's not going to happen. Why don't we get more salt? Yeah, all this is pretty much... Eh. We'll, we'll waste all our money on that once we really have a, an enormous income. As soon as Lustria just gets off the ground, we're going to be making money hand over fist. Okay, that's it. Moving on. Underway interception of... Some goblin. Poor goblin. Poor goblin. And Manor Zervana is the one who kills him. That's... That's excellent. Okay. This I was not expecting. Two full stacks of undead moving on Karak Hearn and we've already... marched... way too far away. We have to go back. But we, we can't actually... We're just going to have to lose it. Well, you know what? That's what I get for not scouting. Where is our scout? Is he almost here? He's getting there. I think what we'll do is we'll go like this. And then sail on up and cut, cut across. Because we do need someone to keep an eye on. Oh, looks like that killed the skull takers when we... Oh, that little guy in the underway. Good lord, okay. Miner Zervana. Looks like Flesh is moving right along. Last level of thick skinned there. Let's head down, like, right at the border and see what we're looking at. We can't get there, so we might as well hang out at the border and replenish. Sure. What a bummer. They might attack it next turn, but they might they yes, might not so. because Hibiscus is close. We'll see. We'll see what they do. Either way, I'm not particularly bothered. Where did Marathi go? No. That's not her. Where did Marathi go? I will not. Okay, she's back over there in Myrmidons. We're cleaning things up here, but it's going to take a while. Al Haik is done. Let's funnel all the cash we have into it. Never again are we losing this place. Let's get our favelas up. More salt. How much salt are we trading exactly? All of it. Wow. Okay. Let's just get a big old pile of, uh, of Marathi's tears right there. Looks good. Is the Black Tower... Okay, no, the Black Tower is moving right along. It's, uh, let's funnel some cash into you in the form of shrines. And, oh, okay, we've already got a pylon going. That's great. Yeah, let's get a... Let's get an altar of Sotek as well. It's a, you know, it's kind of like a temple city. Yeah. You know, Temple City. All regions of this province make tons of cash. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, let's get Exodal. Looks like we can get there in one turn. Boom. 
Wow, okay, this is just... The cities are falling like dominoes, and it's already... It's already got the perfect setup there, so we're just gonna take it and move on. Where's Sabatoon? Down there, so... I think we'll probably go over here with Croc, take that one, move down here, settle, and then move along to the left. And then we'll be at the Bearded Skulls, and then we can move all the way up just like that. One big loop. Let's get those walls moving up with Walodal there. A little too late to start recruiting uh, Mr. Shadow Dart. A little too late. Fearless from Yobekfus. Yep, that Chaos Corruption is plummeting now. Let's get up some walls. Level 32 with Yobekfus. Are we done with this? One more point. Renowned and feared. Now we're going to be working on our magic from now on. Movement range, upkeep, defense, amazing. It's just, it's too good not to have. Lots of cash coming in. The Awakening is about to have another rebellion again. Let's go ahead and start upgrading it here. We're level 13, how about... Skinks and Croxagores, boom. Yeah, they'll get there eventually. We're set up in the northern great jungles. Let's get the alignment of crafting going. We'll turn it over to war whenever it becomes relevant, but the crafting is going to get the growth that we need to just constantly upgrade these settlements. A lot of upgrading to do. I could drop and I could start another army, but you know what? I'm going to just take this massive amount of income because every turn we're just spending so much money to get things going here. We have a ways to go. Let's keep scouting. A ways to go. Let's head on over here. Keep an eye on the bearded skulls. I think we're done on this coast. Let's go over here. We did that stuff in Al Hayek. The Black Tower is just moving. Marathi's hanging out. Is that the end of this turn? It certainly looks like it. I think we're ready to move on to the next. Yep. Okay. Recruiter, that's nice. Assassinate him? No, we're, we're not going to do that. It's too far. Way too far away to even think about. Ultra Mountain's moving along. Black Tower's moving along. Great. Okay. Al Haik. Why don't we get some more salt going? Sforak and Myrmidens. You know, I think I think I'm gonna leave the rest of this to the Weld Elves for now. They're coming down here hard. Oh man. <laughs> oh, what else? Okay. Because I don't know who this is. Oh, Manfred. Manfred's coming down from the north with all sorts of stuff. Hibiscus, he just needs help over here. He just needs help. So let's go and give it to him. Can we get all the way to Barrack Var? No. Let's just go like right here. I don't want to get too close where Manfred can get us while we're marched. But it looks like we could end up losing Akendor for something like that. We'll see. Blood Swamps and Pox Marsh. I guess, who cares? Doesn't really matter. While we're here, let's kill this rebellion. Boom, done. Great.
great. All right. Well, you know, I'm not much of a rebellion farmer. I think it's kind of like cheesy, but I mean, clearly we have to. I mean, a full chaos rebellion stack w will destroy the awakening. So we have to stick here and just do it. It's definitely working out for old Furac, though, that's for sure. Level 18, let's get Super Stego. Level 17, we've got our Carnosaur here. Let's keep working on that Blade Shield. And we're done. With Krokgar. Let's just get a hustle on to the marks of the old ones. One little, let's put in for the bigger temple. We need all the temples that we can get down here. Let's start moving towards Talaxon with uh, Yelbekvis. He's going to take care of that next turn. Let's keep scouting here with Nirmbato. Everything's coming together in Lustria, but it still looks like a nightmare. I can't wait till it's all green and pretty again. It's going to happen, and it's going to happen pretty quick, I think. Al Hayek, you're just, you're fine. We're just going to sit around and troll with, uh, okay, here's, now we've got Hibiscus. He looks like he's in range. Yes. Well, well, we're going to end this episode the same way we ended the last, with Hibiscus doing a battle, I guess, right outside Karak Hearn this time, but against another two full stacks of undead. These are actually nastier than the last time. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, we have our garrison at least. That's nice. Well, guys, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.